Hey, welcome to my channel. Hey, I'm Kenny. Football. Hey, yeah. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor, and we're back doing another Dimash video. This one has been requested ever since it came out. This was requested in my last reaction, which I, I just, I want to talk about uh, with Kairan Alim. I want I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I want to talk about that song just for a second because it was hardly his most spectacular song in terms of scale and vocal agility and everything, but some of you in the comments absolutely nailed what I was trying to say, and maybe you said it better than me, but what he absolutely got right was the heart of the song, and I think it's so important that things can't just look good and sound good. That's not what art is. That's a product. And if we're talking about what's behind the product, the actual intent behind the product, that's why I think there are certain films that I think just work um, because of the heart behind them. And you can tell when they're made with heart. Things like the original Star Wars film just had that heart behind it. Um, in my opinion, the Paddington films have that heart. The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe had that heart. There's, there's certain films that just work. Maybe the best example is the movie Once. I used to play in the orchestra back at home. You don't want to go for a walk or something, huh? Take this it was shot on like $150,000, which is nothing in film, by the way. I would know, because uh, we shot our feature for, you know, not much. Uh, but similar to once, we tried to make it with heart and make it with what was honest to us. And... That's what Karan Alim was. was. It was so true to him and to what Dimash was trying to say. And it's not that his other performances and productions aren't. They're, I think they're all absolutely authentically him. But for some reason, that one just really nailed it. And I really, really liked it. And so I'm excited to see this. This has been really, really highly requested. And uh, yeah, so let's let's just go right into it. No. Before I do that, I'm so sorry. I, of course, want to say thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support, uh, particularly if you're a producer-level patron. I hope you've been paying attention to the posts lately because we had a thing, and uh, hopefully there will be more of those in the near future. Okay, now let's jump into the video. Cool opening. Before Dimash even says anything, because that's going to go off in a whole new direction, isn't it? Because it always does, because it's Dimash. What a fascinating, creepy, incredible, enthralling, engrossing, magnetic opening. Right? Just the, the contortion of the dancers and the expression. This primal need to be seen and understood that has helped really crafted humanity since the beginning. Man, woman, love, sin, eternity. Are those not the last three things there? Are those not the big three questions that pretty much all art is predicated on? Love, sin, and eternity? And are they not all inextricably tied? You know, as someone who is a person of faith, as a Christian, that those three are like the three things that I grew up, really everything that I learned about in church growing up comes back to those three things. I'm 
I am so fascinated by this already. And to have them doing these dances and never together, but in the same space and the water crashing down, particularly on eternity where there's this water that's just going to keep coming. I got so into it. I just slapped an earphone out of my head. Good. Things are going great. And to do it handheld and, and suddenly be doing zoom ins like that. It's really unnerving and unsettling. And yet, I don't know about you, but on some level, I connected with them. I understood just their their drive to be seen and heard and understood and to communicate. Really cool opening. Also, really dark, moody, a lot of blues and grays, which give us this sense of both comfort and loss, melancholy, and and all, all these things that are kind of picking at you as you're watching it. This is incredible already. It's incredible. For some reason, I saw 360p, so I'm just... sort of a creation myth. The moon position between them. I'm so sorry, I think my power just went out. <laughs> Are you still recording? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll be back. Okay, so I don't even know if you can see me right now. I'm just gonna move the camera. <laughs> so you can probably see me a little bit better from here, but uh, the power just went out for our whole apartment. So I'm gonna have to finish this at a later time. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I hope you enjoyed what I did. Uh, now I'm upset because I was looking forward to watching it, but, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's really, it's impacting me more than you, I guess, but. All right. See you soon. And at last I see the light. Hey, I'm back. I have power and uh, <laughs> we are going to go back into this. So it stopped a minute and a half before or a minute and a half into the video, and uh, Dimash is not sung yet, so I'm just going to restart it from where it ended. I'd say thank you for your patience, but that was only a few seconds for you. For me, it was a couple hours, but hey, I went to the beach and I read a book, and the power came back, so all good. Let's jump back in. <laughs> oh, I actually don't know if I... Yeah, we'll go back to there. Trying to face each other. Ooh. It's a little bit of a surprising direction for that to go musically. The other reason I stopped it was he has now taken the place of the moon, which is really interesting, but you can also see the light coming from behind him, and it's sort of a, an otherworldly way to light the scene. It's really interesting, but just musically, uh, a really a cool opening to that. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. Cool. 
So I could be totally wrong, but I feel like a lot of the dance here is kind of showing the um, human progress as as we have more clearly defined what it is and what it means to be human, both in our pursuits of agriculture and construction and art and music and art. There's a lot of the stuff where you've got the guy kind of twisting around and grabbing at his face, or we've got a slow pull. So there's a lot of quick and then slow, and that can symbolize any number of things. But if you think about progress, the one thing that we know about uh human history and, and the history of humankind is that things happen really slowly and then all at once or they happen really fast and then really slowly uh, and that's how change happens it happens in bursts and over a lot of time and so this the dance on this kind of barren land almost the opposite of the garden of eden with Dimash reaching up toward the sun and the wind whipping at him it's a very very old feeling uh, and it, it, it's a story that we're watching unfold, so it's very cool. Uh, cool. Cool. So I don't even want to pause this. This, first of all, from a cinematography standpoint, this is the best Dimash video that I've seen. Man, I don't even know if I want to say that because Karan Aleem was so good and Golden was really, really good. I just, this feels like the center. Well, no, I think Karan Aleem is probably still the best cinematography I've seen. But this, I mean, locations, first of all, locations are a really important aspect of filming anything. So they've got this wonderful desert space with this blackish dirt that feels science fiction it feels otherworldly now we're in this moss covered uh waterfall which is is practical that's not a green screen and they had a double rainbow there which is amazing uh, before it was just one rainbow so now it's two and they're dancing together they're interlocked the whole movement is interlocked and that is a really really hard way to dance uh, I've done a lot of lifts in my dancing, uh, and, and doing this is really complicated. You so have to trust the other person. Also, when Dimash came in, and I'm going to take it back to that part, in his way higher register, so we're back at 306, when he came in at that, what a beautiful tone he brought in. <laughs> That shot is so good. Sorry, I know I'm pausing it a lot. The fascinating thing about this choreography and the way that they're shooting it, and particularly with his music, uh, over top of it, is you cease to fully know where one of them ends and where the other one begins. You know? So it's... You don't know whose arm is where and whose hair is what. And that is just... is a, is a beautiful intimacy that Dimash's vocal more than the cinematography, but his vocal is inviting us into because it's this nice, light, beautiful sound that just lets you focus on the visuals. He, he's singing it so, so well that what you're watching just makes sense of two becoming one, the music and the vocal becoming one, the visual and the vocal becoming one. It's great. <laughs> Cool. 
твое сердце в руки взять Встречай, знай О влюбленных два крыла В небе бьют колокола So they're filming this right at what's, I mean, it's technically right before, but right at golden hour. There's golden hour and there's magic hour. Golden hour happens at night and it's right as the sun's setting and you get these beautiful tones. And this is actually just before golden hour. So they still have the harsh shadows on their faces, which again, gives it that primitive raw feel that really works well with the landscape. And then they've got this gorgeous sky behind them as she's shooting fire into water. Uh, beautiful, beautiful choice to shoot it at this time of day because you can't fake that. You just can't. Yeah, so we're gonna listen to that again because of the vocals because I was trying to keep up with the vocals and the visuals. The visuals, look how they've added saturation on the orange and red to really build up this sense of passion and energy and danger. Uh, and you know, watch that on your own time, but this time just listen to the vocals because my gosh, he's doing some really cool yodeling techniques and jumping between octaves and and just, uh, uh, just, just listen to it. Just, let's all just listen to it. It almost sounds like an instrument, you know? Got an hour on the fire. Oh. Look at that Matrix pose, too. Man. I think it, he hasn't done that in a while in a couple of songs that I've listened to. I almost forgot what he was capable of doing, and he is here in time to remind me what he was capable of doing. Let's just re-listen to that.
walking straight into the sun too. Gorgeous. That was golden hour. That last shot. <laughs> it's it, in particular. It was the uh, far after he went the. which was beautiful and open. And then when he was way up, I'm not even going to try to do it, but the... You can even hear it in my voice. It's losing some of that power. Because that's... It's like... It's so hard to do, and he's just hitting them staccato like an octave higher than I was. Okay? Incredible. Incredible. I... I just... He's... He's really, 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 really good. And his approach to his music videos is always that of what is the best art that I can create? What's the best story that I can tell and how can I craft that? I'm guessing Igor, is it Krutoy? Is that how you say his last name? Uh, I think he did the music. I think I saw that, which makes sense because he just let him write everything for Dimash at this point. But man, y'all. That was really good. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Wow, almost worth the power going out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, always a always a pleasure to get to discover new Dimash. Uh, so until next time, please take care of yourselves. Drink lots of water. Fix your posture, and um, you know, hopefully your power stays on. But until then, please, again, be well. I'll see ya.